Welcome back to Piled Up Garage. Today we are going to make door panels for a 75 Trans Am. Hi, I'm Tommy. I'm Les. And we are Piled Up Garage. <laughs> flooring material that we got left over from a project we did. This hardy board that we went to the big box store and got. Assortment of tools that, you know, just laying around everywhere. Pliers, screwdrivers, markers, heat gun, Dremel, jigsaw, and most important, safety glasses. If you want, just hang around and we'll get to it. There's a door card almost ready to go. So now I'm going to cut these little edges right here out, but I'm going to use the old because this makes easy work of it. Now you can take some sandpaper, go along the edges, knock all these edges down. I got some one, 180, 320, something like that. 180. This is 180. So the way you go, you go down like this. Don't go back. You need to go down. So that's the only way to get this off that I know of. And I mean, some people, professional that is. Know exactly what to do with that. Yep. I ain't sure if you notice this or not. I'm not a professional. <laughs> Make sure you turn it over and do the other side too, because it's got just as many boogers on it as it did the front. And the block, the weight of the block scrape over the top, that takes 90% of the paper off. You don't want to dig in there because if you do, it'll create divots. And you ain't gonna like this. Not when your not when your vinyl goes on. And that is all there is to this, this is the driver's side, the driver side, or the passenger, depends on, you want to flip it over, it could be the passenger, but I'm pretty sure it's the driver's side, so we're going to put the old driver on it.
these things come in handy. All right, that's one. We're gonna try it. Cross your toes. <laughs> Whew. I was gonna say in case when these come back with different staples. most of that. I know it's kind of dark in here, but all those staples down through there. And like I said, there's some crackage here. Maybe right in here, but that acetone will glue it right back together like it wouldn't like it's brand new. Alrighty. This is the glue we're using right here. I know you probably can't see it, but it's well wood contact cement. Some of y'all thinking, what kind of idiot do you use floor laminate underlying for a foam bagging? Well, this idiot right here it is. Because I've got a motto, I don't know if y'all know it or not, but if it's free, it's for me.
right. It's been about three sixteenths of an hour. So it looks pretty good. I like the way these wrinkles are looking. You know, that's that makes it have more, you know, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna lay this right here on it though. It's fine looking leather, look like material. They call it vinyl where I come from. Oh, we done. Now don't be putting your eyeballs down on this dirtiness, but that up there looks good. I have to say, that's money saved right there.